John, this combat rescue helicopter contract will mean that the area will get a much needed boost with jobs and with plenty of economic success for years to come. Look, the best knowledge on how to build a presidential helicopter resides in two companies who competed last time, Sikorsky and Lockheed Martin. Now they're working together on a bid, and that is great news. That was Senator Schumer delivering very promising foresight early this year. He visited the Owego plant to announce that the Sikorsky Lockheed team could be in the running for a presidential and combat rescue helicopter contracts. Both contracts would bring billions of dollars to the area, and it would help create and sustain hundreds of jobs. Last month, the good news about the presidential helicopters came true, and Sikorsky Aircraft and Lockheed Martin Owego won a $1.26 billion contract. And on Wednesday, Senator Schumer, Congressman Tom Reed, and other local leaders came together to celebrate the Combat Rescue Helicopter contract, which will bring another $1.2 billion to the Sikorsky Lockheed team. The combat rescue contract could potentially be worth as much as $8 billion, and it would create and sustain jobs until the year 2025. Senator Schumer says that the contracts will give the area a much-needed shot in the arm. It pumps money into the economy, which helps the restaurants and the stores and everything else. According to the New York State Department of Labor, the unemployment rate for the Elmira and Binghamton statistical area was roughly 6.5%. Most importantly, these major defense contracts mean more jobs. So it's hundreds and hundreds of jobs, and in the southern tier, that's issue number one, jobs. So this could, you couldn't have a better announcement to celebrate the July 4th weekend. Now, under the presidential helicopter contract, Sikorsky Lockheed would build 23 new helicopters, and under the combat rescue contract, they will build 112. Reporting in the studio, Nick Quattrini, WENY News.